Welcome to the shortwave radio channel, and uh, this is a update of solar activity. So we are in a very strong geomagnetic storm as this video is being uh, recorded. Um, it actually went to the severe level, uh, almost maximum level. It's not as strong as the May the tenth um, storm right now, but it's pretty big. So uh, if you are in an area where it's dark, uh, maybe take a look outside and you could see some um, auroras. Also, if you do take a look outside for auroras, tonight is the peak of the uh, meteor shower that we have in August, the Perseids. So uh, that could be an interesting mix of uh, meteors and auroras. So the solar activity is very high. We've reached, for the first time in more than 20 years, uh, solar flux that went up uh, above 300. So this is definitely a strong solar cycle. I always get some comments of someone that doesn't know what he's talking about saying, oh, well, you know, these know where this is a small solar cycle and we're going into, uh, you know, some event where uh, it's going to be like that for ages and it's not the case at all we are having a very strong uh, solar cycle right now and look at the sunspots on the sun they are huge and that is pretty amazing when you look at the size especially 3784 3780 these are several times the size of the earth and so the sun is peppered with some um, big sunspots. So a lot of uh, activity this week. Expect to have more solar flares and some uh, solar disturbances. Usually when solar flares happen, you'll have some um, blackout of the shortwave spectrum. Of course, when we have strong geomagnetic storms, you might notice that the radio bands are quiet more than usual. And this has to do with the fact that um, often geomagnetic storms disrupt the ionosphere, but it doesn't mean there's nothing there. Listen carefully and listen to the AM band. Sometimes what happens is uh, instead of having their usual propagation, you have enhanced propagation from uh, north to south or south to north, which means in North America, for example, shortwave could bring us a lot more signals from South America that are enhanced and that you don't notice uh, a lot of Brazilians and there's a few other countries that still have shortwave outlets out there. And a medium wave uh, is the place to also go. You might notice that all your local normal stations that you hear at night are gone, but you might hear other languages like Spanish. And there could be some stations from the Caribbean or uh, Central South America. So, of course, high solar activity, we are at um, close, if not at the peak of solar cycle 25, and it's a pretty good cycle. Once the storms will subside, what's going to happen here is that your propagation is going to come back. And with high solar activity, it means the higher frequencies go there and try to get anything that you hear, especially late afternoon and at nighttime. Uh, still lots of signals coming in over the poles uh, on 15 meters, for example, on amateur bands. And uh, um, on the international broadcast band, you might hear a lot of Asian signals in the higher frequencies. So we have continued conditions. Check it out. It's uh, worth and uh, do listen to the radio. As Solar Cycle 25 is a very strong cycle right now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.